Russia's security services have issued new details regarding Sunday's clash in the Kerch Strait, which escalated tensions between Russia and Ukraine. Moscow has released video testimony of three crew members who are now in detention in Russia, including one of the, uh, of, of the ships, uh, lieutenant commander of one of the Ukrainian ships, who admits he consciously ignored Russia's order to stop. I am Vladimir Lesovoy, commander of the Navy Division of the Ukrainian Military Forces. We entered the Kerch Strait. After crossing the Russian border, we had visual contact with the Russian border service vessels. I consciously ignored their commands to stop. On our boat, we had small arms and a machine gun with ammunition. I was aware that the action of the Ukrainian vessels in the Kerch Strait were provocative. I was following my orders to move our ships from the port of Odessa to Mariupol. The standoff took place in the Kerch Strait, which is between Russia's mainland and the Crimean Peninsula. Ukraine says its ships were intercepted after they left Russia's territorial waters. RT's Murat Gazdiev reports on Sunday's dramatic events. The Russian Federal Security Service has uh, revealed new details chronologically as to what happened on uh, Sunday in the Strait of uh, Kerch. They said that they detected the uh, Ukrainian na naval flotilla uh, early on heading into Russian territorial waters. They were uh, warned that if they intended to cross the Strait of Kerch, as they well knew, as they had done previously, that they should send a notification of their intent uh, to cross the Strait. It's a busy place. There's a lot of ships, tankers, merchantmen, fishing vessels waiting, queuing to cross through a narrow archway under a bridge. So out of uh, safety concerns, uh, there's, there's queues, there's lines and there's a procedure in place. Ukrainians have followed it through uh, a number of times. Contrary to the UN Convention, Russian border ships carried out a frankly aggressive action against the vessels of the Navy of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The Federal Security Service is also in possession of information that says the provocative actions of the Ukrainian fleet were ordered by the government in Kiev. The territorial waters in which some of this showdown, this chase took place in, were Russian waters even before the reunion of Crimea and Russia. Furthermore, the uh, Russian Federal Security Service revealed that on board uh, the vessels of the Ukrainian flotilla were uh, SBU officers, that is, Ukrainian intelligence agents. So this crossing seemingly wasn't just an ordinary restationing of uh, naval assets, but rather a special operation, it seems, uh, with a mission overseen by intelligence agents. If indeed the case, perhaps uh, the mission was to give the president a reason, justification for the implementation of martial law, as he has done.